All right, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about scientific notation and how to identify numbers that are written in scientific notation. Now you're probably wondering what is scientific notation and why do we use it? Well, we use it when we want to write really, really, really big numbers or really, really, really small numbers in a simplified manner. So in the following slide, I'm going to give you some examples as well as how to identify numbers written in scientific notation. So this would be a great time to pause the video, jot down the notes, and then follow along with what I'm saying. All right, so if you're listening to my voice, that means that you have jotted down the screen here, and you're going to be following what it says. So scientific notation, it's a number that's represented as a product of a factor and a power of 10. So the factor must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So pretty much this green number right here, the factor, this has to be between 1 and 10. Okay, It has to be between 1 and 10. And then we have the power of 10. That's going to have an integer exponent. So this is the, the second part. Okay, this is the power of 10 that has an integer exponent. So for example, the exponent that's there right now is negative 7. So we would read this number in scientific notation as 8.3 times 10 to the negative 7th. That's how we would read that, 8.3 times 10 to the negative 7th. And this is one number. It's one number. And it's, again, it's represented as the product of a factor, which is in green, and a power of 10 in purple. Here are three more just general examples. So 2 times 10 to the 4th, that's written in scientific notation because 2 is between 1 and 10. 4.6 times 10 to the negative 7th, that's written in scientific notation. And then we have 9.8 times 10 to the power of 1, or times 10 to the 1st. These are three other examples of numbers written in scientific notation. Let's go on to identify two more different examples. So we have to tell whether the number is written in scientific notation or if it's not written in scientific notation and then explain why or why not. So let's do these first two together. Let's look at A. It says 5.9 times 10 to the negative 6. So we have to look at 5.9. Is that between 1 and 10? Between 1 and 10? Uh, was, that was horribly written. Let's try that again. It's been a while. Between 1 and 10? Yes. It is. Okay, 5.9 is between 1 and 10. And does it have a factor of 10 included with it? Oh, well, yeah. We have times 10 to the negative 6. This checks out. So we would say yes. This is written in scientific notation. Likewise, for B, we have 0 0.9 times 10 to the 8th. We need to see, is 0 0.9 between 1 and 10? Is it between 1 and 10? No. It is not between 1 and 10. So even though we have a, fa a factor of 10 included with it, being 10 to the eighth, that's good, but the base is not between one and 10. So this is not in scientific notation. No, we say 0 0.9 is not between one and 10. That's it, that's all it is. So here are six practice problems. Please pause the video, attempt it, and then come back when you want to see the answers. All right, so if you're listening to my voice, we're just going to go through and see which ones are written in scientific notation and which ones are not written in scientific notation. So for number three, we have 17 times 10 to the 15th. This is not written in scientific notation because 17 is not between 1 and 10. 
Number four, going to the right, 3.712 times 10 to the negative 8. That is written in scientific notation. Number five, 7.54 times 10 to the 21st. Yes, this is written in scientific notation. Number six, we have 0 0.999 times 10 to the negative 15th. No way, Jose. This is not in scientific notation. Let me go back and change up number three to match our color scheme that I just adjusted to. Because 0 0.999 is not between 1 and 10. What about number seven? We have 125.42 times 10 to the negative 12. No, this is not because 12, because 125.42 is not between 1 and 10. Likewise, number 8, we have 7.65 times 10 to the 25th. Yes, this is written in scientific notation. Okay, that's all this lesson is covering is how to identify numbers written in scientific notation. Please fill out the Google form included. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking about how to write numbers in scientific notation and then the, and then. We're going to be talking about how to write numbers and what we call standard notation from scientific notation. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out. You're doing a great job. Welcome back, and, if you, and keep up the great work. Big old smiley face.